Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another action figure review. So today's figure is Triclops, and um, I only have these two for this video. I do have the, um, the Classics version. It's still in a box. And I do have the Filmation version that Super 7 came out with. Um, that is in a box as well. Um, but I do have my original Triclops, so got him. I do not have any of his weapons or anything anymore, but, um, I did have his armor and actually he's in pretty good condition. Um, paint's pretty intact yet. And, uh, yeah, he was one of my favorite figures, um, growing up. Him and Trapjaw are kind of like their bosom buddies. Um, so I got this and then I have the new Origins figure as well and we're going to crack him open and take a look at him and compare him to the, the original figure. Um, generally in these reviews I also bring out the Super 7 5.5 inch figure to compare. However, the last figure that Super, well I don't know about the last figure but Triclops was not in the Super 7 line. I think they lost the license right about that time um, when they were doing those five and a half inch figures. So there was not a Triclops for that. So we just got these two today and we'll compare them and take a look at them and uh, we'll see what we think on these. So, all right. So we can go take a look at the the card is, you know, same as the, all the other origin figures. The, the bubble is the same as well. Um, artwork is amazing as always on these origin figures. They just did such a great job on these things. The colors just are so nice and bright. Turn visor for different eye to spy for Skeletor. Twist into powerful battle positions, and then you'll see the wave that he came out with. So Stratos, Hordak, and Ninjor. All right, let's open them up. Ooh, sneak attack. So we do have another like little schematic blueprint type of thing, the removable parts. So you can pretty much take him all apart, take the head off, take the arms off, the feet, and then remove his body as well. Here's our sneak attack comic. I like how they keep them all, like the wave in each comic. I do still wish they had one different one for each character and kind of um, had it more geared towards that character in the package. But All right, so let's see here. We got Triclops and here's a sword. So it's all green, black handle. As far as him holding on to it, seems really pretty secure in his hand, so I don't see it falling out or anything like that. Um, it really snaps in there, so that's cool. Um, he does have a place to store his sword, which is nice, and that's uh, pretty identical to the the original one too. So the same type of area where that is at. Um, if we're comparing these two right now, obviously the color is a little bit different. It's a different, it's a lighter green, it's more brighter orange. Um, and I think that's kind of the theme with these origin figures is that the colors are, are a lot more vibrant, um, definitely brighter than the originals. Like, you know, when you look at Trapjaw, I mean, it, 
they did a great job with him um, as far as the color combinations, I think. I really like the fact that it's nice and bright and it really pops. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's what they kind of did with the most of these figures. Um, his uh, head dial turns pretty easily. This, this is super loose on the original one, but um, one thing that I just noticed is he's got like this uh, grinding teeth, like pissed off look on the uh on the origin one and on the og original um he's just got that smirk you know mouth closed look to it um they have his uh bracers wrist bracers go all the way around his hands uh, around his wrist and then on the original it um this one here is more of a like a forearm brace where this one here is mainly just a wrist brace and it was kind of like a forearm like you know shield type of thing so like his actual forearm is exposed here um, on this side here he's got the bracer on it and only half of it was painted so um otherwise everything looks pretty much the same you know besides the color match not being perfect but The eyes match up pretty good. You know, they didn't really deter too much from from those designs at all. They look pretty much exactly the same. So, so all right, cool. And then we'll see what we got. So he got his head moves obviously, and his his eyeball dial. His armor is very, um, you know, pliable. It's really soft, which is nice. Uh, the original was pretty, you know, maybe at one time it was it was softer, but um, it's pretty rigid now. Uh, so head, obviously, his wrist moves. Um, look at that, still works. Wrist moves, uh, shoulders up and down. Um, he's got a ball joint in his elbow, and obviously his hands are on a can swivel around to both of them. Um, thighs come out; they're ball jointed in. No rubber bands on these. Uh, his knees move. And then his shins, or the top of his boot move, because these are the ones you can take off. And then his feet, you know, you can move up and down and around in any position you really want. So it's really cool. Articulation on these things are great. Um, as far as like the actual stance on this, let me see here. You know, the, the Origins is a little bit taller, mainly because the leg isn't in this predetermined, you know, like stance to balance them out. So he's probably more closer to a six inch figure than five and a half. But um, I don't know, I like Triclops. I think it's, it's cool, you know, he's a simple, one of the original characters, um, villains that you see in the cartoons. Triclops, I think he's just, just a, a great classic character. I'm glad that they, they kept it, you know, pretty much to the original on this. You know, the color's a little bit brighter, but that's that's great. And his sword. So, um, yep. So on the original, I wish they would have, what I wish they would have done is included the, the power ring that they had when they were released in 83 or 82 or whenever it was. Um, they got that power ring and same with Trap Jaw too. So they both came with that glow in the dark skull power ring, um, which I thought at the time was the coolest thing ever. And it still might be the coolest thing ever. So 
if you have the classics version, which I have still in the box, it actually comes with the ring and it's actually sized to an adult size, not a kid size. So here I am contemplating opening up that thing and taking that thing out just to get that power ring out of the box. But we'll see. They're pretty, uh, the classics figures are going through the roof right now, um, price wise. And um, I have a lot of them yet. You know, like the, the core group, Battle Cat, Panthor, He-Man, Skeletor, Beast Man, Trap Jaws, I got a couple of them. Got pretty much everybody. Um, I sold off a lot of the lesser known figures, but still got the core group. Got your Castle Grey Skull. I did not get Snake Mountain. It was just way too expensive at the time, so I don't really regret not getting that either. So, um, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um, I got Merman coming up next uh, for the next video. And then um, you'll see some also shots in this video of the toys of the Masters of the Universe line by Pixel Dan that he came out with that book this year. And it's really cool. So it's all alphabetized by year. So like the original characters came out. So 82, it's got a section for those, 83 and so on. Um, it doesn't have them in chronological order as they were released, but it's an alphabetical order by character which is great because then you can just jump right to it. But that's how I found out, because I actually was downstairs looking for that Super 7 figure. I'm like, God, I don't think they made one. And I looked up on the book and sure enough, it was never uh, released. And so Super 7 lost that license right before they could probably get a hold of or make that one. So, um, but yeah, shout out to Pixel Dan. He made a hell of a book. Um, the pictures in it are amazing. You know, they got pictures of every single side, um, profile of the character, you know, what they all came with. And you know, he did an excellent job. And he's pretty much the god when it comes to, um, you know, Masters of the Universe toys and videos for that matter. So, um, but I'm going to do my small little part and do my reviews as well. And if you guys like it and enjoy it, I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I really appreciate that. Um, that way I know people are enjoying it and I can continue to make, you know, content. It does take up some time to uh, film these and edit them and things like that. So I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm utilizing my time efficiently. So if you guys are enjoying these, I appreciate it. Make sure you comment as well. Um, you know, leave a comment. Uh, did you guys have these figures? Do you have them? Um, which one's your favorite? out of all the lines and then also you know like the video hit the thumbs up and then hit that bell for notifications on new videos when i drop them and we'll see you in the next one all right later